In this video, we are going to discuss about how to annotate a network topology and also how to de-annotate de a network topology so, so that it will be very helpful so that we look into it practically. So, how to edit and annotate a network topology? So, first you should know about setting a tiled background. So, you see an option here by the name set background image. So, you can use a shortcut as shift plus i which is for image. So, when you click on it, it will ask you to browse a image. So, when you click on browse, you get some whatever the picture you wanted to put as an image, you can select that image and you can apply to your network. So, you see here this workspace is now with the image loaded. So, this is how you can load the image in the background. So, if you want to reset back, again you have to go to set background image or set tiled background and you have to click on the reset button and you have to click on apply so that the image will be vanished. So, this is about the set a tiled background. So, you can also see here this is a place note so that you can annotate your workspace. So, when you click on here, it will give you a clear note to type in on the workspace. So, you can type whatever you wanted to mention here. This is a network topology sample. So, when you type it, you can clearly get the information on your workspace so that this can be shown on your workspace about the clear categorization of your network topology. So, if you see here this search or inspect which is called I. So, when you click on this and when you click on one of your PC, it will give you the information of ARC table, routing table, NAT table and port summary table also. So, you see here the PC is having ARC table, port summary or port status summary table. So, when you click on it, it will, it will give you the ARP table for PC0. So, it under the ARP table, you can clearly see the IP address column, hardware address column and the interface column. So, in a similar way, if you choose about your port status summary table for PC0, it will clearly shows you the port status summary table for PC0 and it will show about port, link, IP address, IPv6 address and the MAC address. So, the port is fast Ethernet 0 and the link is up because the PC is connected to the switch and switch is connected to the servers and it shows the gateway is not set, DNS server is not set, line number also is not set. So, physical location is intercity, home city and corporate office and you can see clearly about the port status table for the PC 0 here. So, now we will check for switch. So, switch is having four tables available. Those are MAC table, ARP table, QoS queues and port status summary table. So, when you click on the MAC table, it shows you the MAC table of switch 9 in the network topology and about the VLAN, MAC address and port. So, this is about the MAC table for switch 9. Now, you can see the ARP table for switch 9. In the same way how the PC has the ARP table, this also has a ARP table with IP address, hardware address and the interface. So, again if you click on the switch, you see the QoS queues. So, these are switch 9 QoS queues. You see VLAN, fast Ethernet, hardware Q54. Now, it is automatically getting changed fast Ethernet 02 and fast Ethernet 3 you can see fast ethernet 4 and so on under the QoS tables. So, again coming to the port status summary for switch, you see this is the port status summary table. You see the port link VLAN IP address and MAC address. So, under the port fast ethernet 010203 are up and running and the VLAN 1 and the MAC addresses are already provided and you can see the rest all interfaces are down. So, in the same way, if we check for our server, server has an ARP table, port status table and DNS cache table. 
and you can see the same arc table for server 0 and server 1 and also you can see the DNS cache table for server 0 as well as for server 1. So this is how you can edit and annotate a network topology and you can use this uh, text bar so that you can enter about your network so which category the network and you can mention some comments about your network topology which you have created as well as to delete this you can select the delete select item so it's very clear that if you select this and if you click on delete automatically it will delete so this is how the network topology can be annotated and edited and also a background can be set.